This is Ali. He really enjoys his job as a programmer, right? I love it, yeah. But this wasn't the job he always had. Ali fled from Syria. Three years ago, he came as an asylum seeker to the Netherlands. But finding a job in the Netherlands was difficult for Ali. So he followed a three-month course in computer programming and shifted his career focus. And this is Niels, the founder of the company Fonk, where Ali works. Ali started out at Fonk as a volunteer. That sounds like a no-risk method to find new talent for you, Niels. No, that's not true. Even a volunteer takes effort for our people to, to train him, so it's always risk. In this world, it's all about learning skills, and not about the skills you possess. I'd rather have people who can learn really fast and are open for that than really people who are stuck. Meet Alisat. She fled from Uganda a couple of years ago. There, she had many jobs. A last one as a hairdresser. But without any official diplomas, Alisat struggled to launch her career in the Netherlands. Alisat's job placement at Manpower Group is part of a project that the company does in cooperation with the city of Amsterdam. We have 90 asylum seekers that we are coaching to work and or education. And in those six months, we, we focus on the talents of the candidate and we see how to fill the gap to the job that they would like to have later on. It's like really, really interesting job and it's like a school. What we keep saying is focus on the talent. Look at what is this person, what are his skills, what can he contribute to your company. You don't judge people where they come from or anything like that. It's all about how you interact with the group. It's really interesting to have a diverse type of people in the house. And what you get is a lot of empathy, which makes us more humble people and better designers. 